Hi there, Man Aloy, Black Bright News, one more video for this um, for today. And this one is about are women the downfall of men? I believe um, we've made to be we've been made to believe that we are. And I believe it stems from the Bible, and especially as black people are more than likely the readers of the Bible than anything else. I mean, we've grown up on it, we're spiritually, we're spiritually in tune with it. And while we have a host of people all over the globe that um, read the Bible or go to church, black people, there's something a bit different about black people and their association with the Bible. And some people can be influenced by what it says and not realise that, that it's the plan of iniquity to turn and create that split by you know by introducing the concept that women are the downfall of men now it starts off with eve in the garden and she's tempted by adam she gives him by the she gives him the the apple but you have to remember who was the integral who had an integral role in that downfall it was the devil wasn't it it was a serpent it was a snake now in modern times that would be seen as excessive, accessible, accessor, accessorial liability because even though the um, the snake didn't actually commit the crime, he encouraged Adam. He encouraged Eve to entice Adam to take the apple, and as such, it was a downfall of mankind. So he was an accessory to the crime, the devil. So you have to think again about Samson and Delilah. It's a similar situation. Um, she didn't do it of her own volition. She was, she was kind of cajoled into um, making him give up his secret in his hair and then cut his hair and took advantage in the end of it. It was his downfall as well. But when you think about the real role of women, putting that aside, those are negative um, negative examples of women. You can th also think of the ones that brought women up like Winnie Mandela and all of these other strong women who carried their men through centuries. Um, I should have written some names down but I didn't so forgive me for that, forgive me for that omission. But in today now we have to think about what is relevant today and how women can not bring men down but bring them up through their skills of teaching, counselling, mothers, companions, employees, employers. I mean women are capable of so, can do so much to not bring a man down to his destruction but to lift him up to a plateau where he feels comfortable and safe. Um, we also have their wisdom, I mean, a lot of women, they they don't always say, tell um, a man what they're thinking. Sometimes it's because they want the man to feel as though he's in charge. But women have a wealth of knowledge and providing it's put over in the correct way. I remember growing up, my mother used to tell me things and I used to think, you know, she's talking a load of rubbish because it's the way she delivered the message. But years later, I've kind of translated that message into something that makes sense. And I think, yeah, what she was telling me, even though she didn't say it to me in a way I could understand then, you know, resonates within me now. And it was valuable. But so it is important that we, you know, we are good communicators because communication is the key. Communication is what takes people to different levels and communication is what brings people up or it takes people down so we, we you know we are good communicators and we don't have to use that communication just to entice and to beguile and all of those kind of things we need to use it for constructive and positive reinforcement um yeah we don't want to misuse our power because we all know women are influencers and um, so we don't use that to exploit, we don't use it to misuse, we don't misuse our power and yeah I think you know if we look at it from that perspective and not from a biblical perspective which does tend to show women 
in a bad light. You've got Jezebel. You've got all of these host of women who... But let's try and think of Esther. Esther, mind you, she had a background too. But the fact of the matter is, is that she was still chosen by God. So just look at the positive in women because there's a lot of positive and get beyond all these negative stereotypes. And that's all for now. Bye.